Step number one. Chop down some wood. Step two. Kill the slimes that are killing you. Step three. Make torches out of this gel you got out of the slimes and the wood. Step four. Make a house for your ash. <laughs> Make a house for your. Oh, for fuck's sake. Make a house for your guide. Step 5. Make this house suitable for your guide called Asher. Step 6. Go find the nearest cave you can find. If you find this biome on your way, uh, turn around and go the other side. Go into the cave. What the actual crap is that? Step number seven. Make a new world because this one is apparently sh Step number eight. Repeat most of the previous steps on the new world you made. Make sure that the house for Luke is consisting a workbench or table, a chair, a light source, and walls. Sidestep. Do not go in there. You will die. Once you find a cave, go and destroy th the v vases and proceed down the cave. Never mind, this is not a f***ing cave. Sidestep. Make sure you have enough torches when you go into a bigger cave. This can be avoided by making taking a lot of uh, wood with you because you might find slime in the caves which can give you gel. So the most important part of making torches is the wood. This is not a f***ing cave either. Finally, after a lot of searching, you find a cave. What do you do is hopefully find a chest like here. First secure the surroundings and open the chest. These chests will always have some good loot in them. It might be a good weapon item or it might be some kind of a accessory. In this, this time we can see we have a wand of sparking. This is a really good weapon for beginning and every weapon that you get can be can have something special it can be better or worse as you can see this one is keen and it gets better critical strike chance if we look at this copper um, pickaxe it's it is annoying and it has worse speed and worse damage proceed taking the chest with you because it will come in handy and you won't need to craft them step number 11 Continue down the cave to find more chests. As you can see, we get another wand of sparking. I guess it's just not your day. And remember to take the chest with you. It will always get better. As you can see, we have a lot of rope. We can craft a lot of the rope coils. This will be very efficient until you get a grappling hook. Which will be a lot more practical than all of these ropes. If you find these weird altar things... Do not be scared of them. They're not anything bad. They're used to craft. Uh, they're actually used to craft boss spawning items, basically. In these kind of situations where you cannot see the bottom of your destination, it would be the best to drop a lot of ropes. Once there's too many ropes, and they will hit the ground, the remaining ropes will drop from the top of the rope coil step number 12 once you get further down in the caves 
You must be careful because at this point sometimes you won't be Ah 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 what the f is that what is that ah Luckily when that happens you don't lose all of your items unless you set uh, the th the w that to be so because you just lose your money Step number 14 make your house bigger Something you might get ever now and then for moms is a shackle. This shackle is an accessory and it works basically like a wristband or something and it will give you uh, defense and some kind of boost. In this case it is movement speed. In order to actually make stairs you will need a hammer and you need to remake the platforms that you made into steps or stairs I should say. Now you can move up here and use the rest of your walls that you still have for the upper floor. Make the new apartment absolutely the same as the bottom one and then check if the housing is suitable. It is. Now more NPCs will be able to join your world and live with you. This will keep going as long as you have more space in your house. It might uh, I'm not exactly sure when it will happen, but every now and then over the, the time goes on you will get new NPCs in your home. When over the time going on, what the fuck was that sentence? As the time goes on you should also make these rooms bigger so we have space for other things not just the NPCs themselves. So I would recommend making the space a little bigger to have some space for storage and to make some furnaces and anvils. When you want to make armor uh, or anything out of metal you will first need a furnace to smelt the ores that you mine and after that you will need a anvil to craft any kind of steelish weapon you find. And that should be all the first steps you should know when start starting up Terraria and you should be good to go. Just check some uh, stuff on the Wikipedia and the game is also pretty good to learning for learning on your own. You have the reason why this person is here is if he would stop going away you can right click on him, click crafting, place any type of any type of item you think could be crafted into something it will tell you exactly what you can do all the crafting resources no matter what you actually you have and what you don't have it will just show you all the crafting resources for that one item this can be really really useful when you have some new like sapphires or items like that and you wanna check what you can do with that as you can see we can put the tin ore in it's gonna say it's a tin tin bar and what you requ what you're required to have to actually uh, get that item which is in this case uh, a tin ingot what the hell was this goddamn video uh, I would say that's my kind of tutorial I guess for starting up Terraria it's not it's supposed to be just a stupid little video that would be funny and attractive for people to actually kind of you know get some attention for Terraria I think it's a really cool game uh, that's it for this video and we'll see you next time